centennial of water skiing mean to you? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's how far the sport has come and how uh, long lasting skiing has been. Water skiing has, has grown over time and its longevity is amazing. And, and, and then where water skiing has gone internationally, uh, where water skiing can take people. People have carved careers out of being in the industry. And uh, the, the hundredth is just proof of that this amazing sport has lived and will continue to live on at, through the strengths of, of its members and, and through the, the passion people have for the sport. Yeah, and you know, I would I would add that for myself, selfishly, it's it's you know how much water skiing has personally given to me. It's helped me in my profession, um, you know, and 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 it helped me kind of make it to the top of my profession as, as a chief operations officer of an organization, and is allowed me to build my leadership qualities, uh, learn how to work with and alongside different people. Of, of different skill sets, of different backgrounds and such. But even more so than that, it's it's the family component. I met my my wife being on a ski team. I, you know, my, my all my children started skiing at the age of two, similar to Matt's. It, it, we have an extremely close family. My sister has moved down to Janesville. My parents have moved down to Janesville. That would have never have happened without water skiing. And wow. I'm so very, very thankful for that component. And then, of course, all the teams that I've been a part of and 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 uh, shared some real special memories, whether it be the Shermlot Show team, the Aqua Skiers, Tommy Bartlett's, uh, certainly RAJ, Team USA. Man, I I've just I, I have so many memories uh, that are so positive and that have, again shaped my life. Um, so many friends like Matt in our core uh, friend group. It's going to be a time where I'm just going to reflect. I want to take a moment for myself down there to just reflect on all that because that's what Ralph Samuelson, that's what this 100 year evolution has given to me is, is the ability to just enjoy life. Well, and that's a great segue into this next question. It's kind of loaded because I know you guys have been in the sport and been so involved so long. But, you know, if you have a favorite memory, what would that be? Yeah, that's a. Uh... For as long as Dave and I have, 30 plus years, um, so many awesome memories come up. And, and as I think back, like two stand out from my past, but that one from my current, that is sort of my everlasting memory. The first one for me is when Mad City Ski Team won nationals in 2004. We had not won nationals before. We had uh, really climbed that mountain and to finally achieve that after all the hard work, I remember the moment the scores were announced and, and that feeling will never leave me, that excitement at the national championship. The other for me is the first world tournament in 2012. I say pre-show, Goosebumps talking about it, the pre-show, the water's settling down, we're just about to start our show and the crowd starts chanting, USA. USA and it just it like courses through my veins the opportunity that we had to compete for your country like that is totally different than competing as part of your home club is the ability to represent your com your country in a world tournament and that moment where the crowd was chanting that will, will live with me forever but now it's like beyond those competitive moments the, the couple that stand out with me are now skiing with my kids and I have there's like two photographs that stand out in my mind in my brain and the one is me on stage with my son we got to jump together as he learned to to hit the jump ramp we jumped in a show together and we have a picture of us waving together side by side on stage we got to be on the ramp together in a ski show and another one is my daughter in her first tournament or one of her first tournaments she climbed the pyramid on me and we're on stage together at the end of our show and we're supposed to be smiling and looking up at the judges, but I remember the moment vividly and there's a photograph of us looking at each other and smiling and she had said, See? And, and that to me is like, that is, that is, amazing. and and that's the, what makes the sport amazing. 
Yeah, that's those those are special memories. Um, you know, mine is very similar uh, from an amateur standpoint. Won a, a handful of, of you know a regional and, and national championships, but it's the first regional championship that I won with Wisconsin Rapids Aqua Skiers, which is one of the oldest clubs in the United States. When we won the Wisconsin State Tournament, we you know we walked up there. Uh, I was show director. We walked up there hand in hand. It was the first time that they had ever won a state tournament. That was just a very very special moment because. The team that we knocked off was the Rock Aqua Jays, the one that I'm currently affiliated. A lot of people know that I'm, I'm a part of that team, but they were like Goliath and we were David by, by far. And we were just this young club within a two or three year period of time that came out of nowhere and we're just building momentum. You know, we walk, we, we knocked off Goliath for a couple of years. And so that was that was really special because that that club was all about family relationships and, and, and so on. So from an amateur standpoint, that's where I would I would say my my best memory was. Matt's spot on in terms of 2012. Uh, he and Chris Copeland were the show directors for Team USA, and there was such uh, anticipation for the very first time to see this collection of the best of the best on the water for the very first time that it was it was just palpable. And to hear that USA in the crowd was incredible. And to have we selected, or I shouldn't say we, but Matt and Chris selected people on the team, like Scotty Clack was yeah. a member of Team USA. And to have him come back and to throw his first mob that he's ever thrown in in the show. Wow. <laughs> in the show. And then he, he actually, he missed it, but then he tumbled it up, for example. And the crowd just goes nuts. I mean, Scotty could have done a ride over it. The, the crowd would have gone nuts, but I mean, uh, there's just so many special memories associated with that show and the crowd was being was 100 percent behind us uh, so really really cool cool atmosphere and then uh, you know for me uh, you know in, in a kind of not to get sentimental but it's you know my wedding looking we had 450 people there and i think probably 375 of them were show skiers so wow yeah. um <laughs> and and from so many like we have people from Mad City and RAJ and Wisconsin Rapids and Twin Lakes and I mean it was like a melting pot of show skiers and you know looking out I looked at my wife I'm like this is our family this is this this is it you know it, it, it's it's just a great metaphor for again what show skiing is which is it, it's all about family friendships and relationships.